The Mississippi Bubble, a larger-than-life tale connected to the Scottish economist and businessman John Law. He served as Controller General of Finances under the Duke of Orleans, who was regent for the then five-year-old King of France, Louis XV. In 1717, Law established the Bank Royale. The bank had been funded mainly by John Law and Baby Louis, and three quarters of its capital consisted of government bills, effectively making it the nation's first central bank. Law also established the Mississippi Company, funded by the bank. The Mississippi Company was a nationalized monopoly giving 25 years of exclusive trading rights in North American French colonies. Trading lucrative minerals, it ushered in an unprecedented period of prosperity for the French. Well, at least on paper it did. French began taking loans against their exposure to the Mississippi Company, which was skyrocketing in value. The share price went from about 500 livres to 10,000 in just one year, and just a year later, it completely collapsed. Law fled France, and the primary shareholder, the French government, defaulted on its debts, ruining lenders around the world. Cementing the story, economists would then coin 